celebrate the halfway point of the 2017 World Superbike season. Yeah, and the gloves are off here, Harry, between the top two men in the world over the course of the last few years. You can see one lap to go. There's a group of three in that leading group, but uh, you can see it's all about the leading two here with Chaz Davis leading across the line by two tenths of a second from Jonathan Ray. I love that image there. One of Chaz Davies' mechanics hanging the pit board out, plus zero to Ray. Big smile on the mechanic's face. It's all the play for here. It's not plus zero, it's point zero difference at the second. We know that Jonathan Ray can be very strong, especially through that third sector out on track. Oh, Mark, and the Landry's gone down as well. The disaster for the Italian rider. His hopes of home victory are well and truly gone. Sykes is now up onto the podium after a fairly lonely race. Hopefully we can cut back to the action out the front. Jonathan Ray is coming. He's going to have to save something for those last couple of corners, I think. Yeah, it's going to be all about turn 14 here for Jonathan Ray. You can see just uh, trying to use every inch of the track on the way out of turn 8, but it's going to be all about the run from uh, the Toronto here at turn 10, trying to get good drive from that, get close to Davis, and then use those three right-handers to try and get as close as he can on the way into turn 14. You can see Melandre's name just dropping like a stone. But uh, that's, he is trying to rejoin, but it's all about these leading two. Is Jonathan Ray going to get close enough to uh, Chaz Davis to try and make a move into the tight right-hander? Those tyres are definitely looking a bit loose for Davies. He's having to run a bit wide there. Jonathan Ray taking a slightly wider line to try and carry a bit more corner speed. A wider line through. Oh, Davies goes down and he gets hit by Jonathan Ray. They both go down at turn 14. Jonathan Ray swings for his bike. Tom Sykes could win this race. What huge drama here in Mazzano. It looks like... Yamaha on for another podium with Lowe's. Torres could be up there on the podium as well. Tom Sykes from being seven seconds back goes on to take his second race victory in three races. Unbelievable stuff there in that final corner. You can see just a small mistake from Chaz Davis. Lowe's gets second and Jordi Torres. Jonathan Ray will actually cross the line in third it looks like. And Jordi Torres gets fourth. So Jordi Torres will line up on pole ahead of Forrest. Eugene Lavi, it looks like he'll finally crack the top six this year. So his best ever finish after one of the most dramatic laps I have certainly ever seen in World Superbike. There we see Chaz Davies just getting stretched away. Of course, Jonathan Ray did hit him. So we will bring you updates as soon as we know. Of course, the Kawasaki team not celebrating too much after that one. Yeah, we saw Chaz Davis get back up to try and restart. But uh, obviously, once the adrenaline wore off a little bit, just having to get stretched off. You can see the number seven Ducati rider just uh, getting some attention. We will bring you updates on that as soon as possible. An incredibly dramatic race there. We saw Melandry go down. As we said, the red mist did come down. Everybody giving it their all in those last couple laps. Those final three laps were won for the history books here in World Superbike. What a way to celebrate 30 years of World Superbike action. There we see Tom Sykes. He's overjoyed with that one. You have to be in it to win it. I'm sure Tom Sykes wasn't thinking after those first five laps that he'd be anywhere near winning. There you can see Melandry did eventually cross the line to pick up a single point and a fair few DNFs with Davies unfortunately falling. Stefan Bridal did eventually finish but was seven laps down. So of course isn't going to score points there. Lowe's now gets a second place, two podiums in two rounds for Lowe's. A bit of salvation for Yamaha, of course. Michael Vandermark with that incredible start to the race was looking so strong and then had that fall. Still not 100% sure what the cause of that fall was for Vandermark. We did see the rear tyre off the rim, but uh, not 100% sure. Big wheelie there from Lowe's to celebrate. As we said, another podium. He waits two years, and then much like buses, two come at once. There's Jonathan Ray. What an end to the race for him. No doubt his thoughts will be straight away with Chaz Davies. We did see them obviously have that war of words in Assen, but since then the relationship has been back to being very, very cordial. There, Jonathan Ray. Not sure if he's stopping the bike because of the damage or if he's off to... Oh, no, he's actually off to check on Chaz Davies. That's great to see that Jonathan Ray is straight away there to check on Chaz Davies. Looks like he's kneeling down to also have a bit of a chat of him. What the mark of a sportsman there from Jonathan Ray. Here we go. Here was that crash. A huge moment there for Davies. And it looks like he probably just tucked the front in the corner yet. And then Jonathan Ray had nowhere to go. Gets launched over Chaz Davies motocross style there. Nobody at fault there. There's nothing you can do when you're that close in a race. And here we go, another replay of that incident. 
Davies there straight away holding up a hand in apology. So, you know, Davies certainly didn't have to apologise for that one. Jonathan Ray, as we said, an incredible gesture to go straight over.